I've never hit anybody. All right, we got a kind of funny one today. I'm at Road America, just shaking down this um, this uh, Gallardo and S Class, not Gallardo, the Huracan. Uh, it's a rear-wheel drive build, just regular stuff. But there's a pretty funny car in this race. Um, this is a pretty normal, or I know this track pretty well, uh, and they had it in Forza 4. I got okay at it. I'm not crazy about it. It's more speed oriented than handling. It's just kind of balls to the wall. Now, okay, look at my rear view mirror. You see that little silver dot? Check this out. What the hell is that, bro? Look at that. It's a little sperm. He's racing towards the egg. It's pretty funny. Look at him. Look at him go. I'm a spermy. Anyway, so that just kind of blew me away seeing him fly down the street. What the hell does he have in there? Anyway, so I'm, you know, I'm in a decent position. I know the track. I hit my braking marker okay. A little spermy goes off, but he seems okay flying over the curb there. I get up a uh, position. Um, yeah, I just couldn't make headway in this in this lobby. Um, people weren't too rammy, but um, I don't know. I guess the pace was just matched, or they were just faster than me. I couldn't do damage. Um, the Gallardo, Gallardo. I keep saying Gallardo. It's the Huracan. Huracan's not bad. Um, it. I tuned it well enough. I think it's stable enough from the uh, just out of the box. You know, I just did little minor stuff, tune the diff. Um, but yeah, it it gets the job done. I think this track would do, or I would do better here with a little more horsepower. Okay, now look in the rear view. Look who's coming! Look who's racing! He's gonna be the one. He's gonna he's gonna fertilize the egg. He's not letting anything stop him. Ooh, I think I hit that Mustang. It just happens sometimes. Um, yeah, there he goes, man. Jeez. And he's got that, uh, iridescent paint. He looks like a sperm, bro. He's a sperm. <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah, I mean, this race, I didn't really have anyone to blame. Um, I just could not really make headway. Um, I got a decent first lap. Maybe could have been a little faster. This is coming up. A Mustang, probably. Yeah, he's got that straight line speed on me. Ooh, oh man. Yeah, I'm just shaking the car down, just getting a feel for it and kind of relearning this track again. But yeah, this is about the best I could do. Just, uh, you know, I hit that turn pretty well. See what I can do behind this uh, little 60s go kart, F1 car. Yeah, they've just got this straight line speed here. Just wanted to see what it can do because it has um, it has no aero and it has about, I mean, it comes with about 600 horsepower stock. So I figured it would be able to do a little better here, but I mean, these guys really focused on the power. I wish I had maybe, you know, you can, in the hoppers, you can check out what people's tunes have yielded them like their their pi what they focused on it would be interesting to see what kind of cars and builds people pick this guy up ahead is glitching and kind of oh little spermy we made contact i think i got fertilized um but that's not the last we'll see of him but yeah this track definitely rewards um just straight up speed well he comes across the track pretty sloppily knock that little F1 go-kart a little wide behind me. He can't hang. Well, someone made a mess over here. So yeah, I'm just surviving this one. Um, I really just wanted to show this race to show that little, I think it's a Lotus 11. Um, yeah, just to show that car. He got knocked out, but we're going to see him again. So yeah, like the, uh, the Huracan, it's not bad. Um, it kind of it gets through the turns well enough, and you know it's, it makes decent power, puts the power down well. I'm trying to look and see. I stopped 
using um, traction control. I'm just racing straight up now. So no traction control, no ABS. I still do normal steering because simulation steering, even with the wheel, is just crazy twitchy. Um, you saw that lap time. That was a really bad lap time for a second lap. You'll see what I do uh, in the next lap. I'm not sure what happened. I might have went off something on the last lap. Anyway, that guy goes wide, gives me a position, but look who it is! It's little Spermy! <laughs> Jesus. So yeah, nothing happened after that. Uh, I just finished in 11th, and yeah, this lap was about eight seconds faster than the previous one, so. I'm not sure what happened. I, I lost a lot of time that second lap. I could have went a lot faster. That was a good shakedown. Good little race. Fun to see. Fun to see uh, actual spermatozoa in action. Not bad. Can't complain. So now we're going to go to uh, Nurburgring. You can see the lap times here. I wasn't bad. I definitely could have finished higher. I probably would have finished about seventh or eighth i guess i wouldn't have done that much better with that extra eight seconds but now we're gonna go to nurburgring gp and the trusty old nsx i gotta do some lobbies with different cars but i just like the nsx i'm still running um i redid this whole tune to work better with with uh no traction control because what I found is that, at least with the NSX, having the engine turbocharged really kind of makes it hard to drive. It's just the throttle response is very choppy and the boost comes on aggressively. So I switched to a supercharger to get more linear power. It's a little more weight, but um, overall the car is a lot easier to drive and it's still, it's just as fast. So you see I get knocked around a little bit here, but I know this track, I do shakedowns on this track, and um, I should be able to do some damage, and these guys are just sloppy as hell, so if I can get past this little circus, which it looks like I'm able to, yes, I'm up into 7th cleanly behind this little back mosquito. And we're going to see what we're able to do. This race actually kind of uh, kind of evolved into a nice little battle between me, this uh, mosquito car, and this Corvette up ahead. So it was pretty fun. And the uh, NSX, I mean, I have it mostly sorted. Like I said in the review of it. It's not the quickest turning car, although I've been tweaking the tune a little bit, so it has a little more bite on turning, just a little more snap. Um, so yeah, this, this is an interesting matchup. I've got the speed on the back, but he's got the braking and the handling on me for sure. And I think the NS, the, not the NSX, the uh, Corvette, I have one of those. If he's tuned like mine, He's got more handling and a little less speed. So it's, it's a good matchup. We all have similar pace. I, I get knocked around a little bit. I'm back in seventh, but I'm still in it. Um, you know, see, you can see I'm creeping up on him down the straight. And that's with arrow. So this car, it, it's got good speed. Ooh, Corvette knocks the mono wide. I think he's out of this, but fortunately there's another one right up ahead. I'm personally not a fan of uh, the mono in races. They're so fast and they kind of are faster than their uh, PI would indicate. So I don't know, I feel like they're kind of cheater cars. You see them all at the top of the leaderboards. It's like, it's a little cheap. I like a little bit of a challenge. So I'm pacing this Corvette. I, I could be a little cleaner. I think I'd get past him if I was cleaner. Um, you see, oh, actually that back mono in the back, he's able to catch up with us. I guess we're just sloppy as hell, battling each other. He's riding defensively, I'm looking up his inside. 
So the back is back. <laughs> um, so yeah, look at us. One, two, three, right behind each other. I think I got two eager on the brakes. I get better run out of here than him though. Looks like he, oh no, we're three side by side here into this left. Um, yeah, this was fun. We're really, nobody's knocking anyone off. Well, I, I guess the Corvette knocked the mono off. But he's up, but see, this is where the balance comes back. I'm able to close the gap on him. Look at that. Wow, I'm really able to close up on him. And we're into this chicane. He cuts it. Not very honorable. Someone was off there, so that's a free position for all of us. And he's feeling the pressure, so he goes wide into the grass, and that's basically the end of the race. Um, I finish fourth, get a nice clean 2 0. Well, not clean, but uh, I hit a 204, which is a pretty good lap time for me in a lobby, in a average lobby tune car and um yeah we collect that nice and clean fun little battle there so hopefully you guys enjoyed that um yeah